Can you believe it? This is the last day in January. It seems as if time is going by so quickly. So I just want to drop by today to first I want to apologize for not having that live discussion that we were supposed to have about where you are now with your goals and the challenges that you're facing, the successes that you've had. So my apologies for that. As I mentioned before, I got bitten by a spider in my face <laughs> and it was too swollen for me to be able to do the live presentation. So my apologies for that. Next, we're going to be looking at, now that it is the end of the month, where are you? Are you satisfied with what you have accomplished? If so, it is very important that you celebrate. And by celebrating, it doesn't have to be anything major. It can be a simple celebration. A day off, maybe you go and treat yourself to a nice meal or something that you consider fun. But every month, once you have accomplished your goals, or you come very close to accomplishing your goals, don't forget to stop and celebrate your successes. Now, we're gonna be celebrating our successes. We also need to look back over the four weeks that we've had to see what were some of our failures, what were some of our shortcomings, what are some of the things that we could have done differently, some of the things that we need to improve if the goal that you had was for just January, did you complete it? And if so, congratulations to you. If not, are you going to pursue it in February to ensure that you reach that goal? Because the reason you set that goal in the first place was because it is important to you. So don't give up. Yes, you may not have met your deadline, but don't give up. You did well. As long as you worked towards that goal, even if you didn't do as much as you wanted to, even if you didn't accomplish what you wanted to, as long as during the course of that month you worked towards your goal, you did well. So you should congratulate yourself and start thinking about what else do you need to do to make it a success. Now, a lot of you know that my goal for January was to work on my worm farming book. I wanted to have it fully written and published by today, or at least send it into the publisher today. But unfortunately, I worked on it for the first week and that is as far as I got through circumstances that I could not control. For one, my platform that I use to build my courses Suddenly they terminated their services. They said they're not offering that service anymore. So I had to be busy looking around for different platforms that I could use and making the transition from the previous platform to the new platform is quite a challenge for me. So I'm still working on that. So that has become my new goal. And in addition to that, uh, my husband and I decided that we're going to be letting our kids do online schooling. And so trying to get them settled in online schooling for January and trying to understand what is required to get it done is quite a challenge because I'm doing it all on my own while trying to set up this new platform for my courses. So it is quite a challenge. So that is where I'm at. So did I accomplish my goals? No, I did not. But I'm satisfied and I can celebrate because even though I did not accomplish the particular goal that I set out for, I'm satisfied that I did my very best, not only for that goal, but when I was faced with different circumstances, I made the adjustments and I worked at it night and day to bring it to where it is now, still not where it needs to be. So, point, what is the point of telling you this? As you set goals, there are going to be challenges, there are going to be distractions, there are going to be so many things that get in the way of your goal. What is important is, is it possible for you to stick to your goals when you're facing these challenges? Even if you have reduced time to work on your goal, is it possible for you to still keep working at it? If so, then you want to continue. If it is necessary for you to take a detour, then take your detour, but 
stay focused on your goal so when you have completed your detour be as quick as possible at getting back at that goal now sometimes it is that because of the distractions that you have your goals may also have changed maybe completely or maybe somewhat that is okay too it is okay the goals are not set in stone what is important is that we have a direction that we want to go a final outcome that we're working towards so even if we planned to take the route on the left and the route on the left didn't work out and we have to take the route on the right to get to that final outcome it doesn't matter what matters is that at the end of that deadline you made it to your goal so guys stay focused don't give up when the challenges come trust me the challenges i've been facing in the last month they have been nothing short of frustrating overwhelming sometimes i get angry sometimes i wonder why i even bother but at the end of the month when i look back and see the things that i accomplished even though i didn't accomplish all that i wanted or the specific things that i wanted because i know that i did my very best then i'm satisfied so when you face your challenges and they don't work out the way you want them but as long as you keep moving forward then you have reason to celebrate so stay focused don't give up anger may come frustration may come distraction may come but you've got this the only thing that stand in our way of reaching our goals is the way we think so what are you going to do are you going to aim at child at facing bigger problems and solving them the bigger the challenges that you face and if you're able to solve them, you're in a better position to solve even bigger projects in the future. So don't give up when those situations come. Stay positive, stay focused, and you can achieve your goals. So if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more videos like these, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you know of anyone who needs this information, then please feel free to share. Also, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you as quickly as possible. And if you see others in the group asking questions and you are able to supply answers, please feel free to share your answer. That is how we encourage one another. That is how we help to build our community and build this team so that we are stronger, so that each of us can reach our goals. So thank you for watching and I hope you have yourself a wonderful day.